Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub by Dr. Tanya Bose. So today I will be telling you about ordinary differential equations. So today will be the introductory lecture and then we will proceed with this topic in the next videos. So now what is an ordinary differential equation? Now if you see a real world problem, for example, just recently we have just gone through the corona cases. So you see that in the newspaper the next day what happens that you get an analysis that this much is the growth rate of this virus, right? So how do we study that growth rate? So there, that means a real world problem, it is converted into a mathematical modeling and then we need how to solve those mathematical modeling and then we need to interpret it in terms of the real world problem. So whenever we convert a real world problem into a mathematical model, their differential equation plays a very, very important role. Right? So now let us see that what is a differential equation. Any equation which are composed of an unknown function and its derivative they are known as differential. So when, when I said that it is the growth rate, so if I assume that, that alpha is the virus and the growth rate of the virus with respect to time is d alpha by dt. So if it is exponentially growing, so I can see that it is proportional to e raised to power alpha. And hence from here, when I remove this proportionality symbol, you know that we'll get a constant and we get it as d alpha by dt is k times e raised to power alpha. So here you can see that alpha is a dependent variable depending on the independent variable time and it is an equation containing the dependent variable and its derivative. So such type of equations are called as differential equations, right? Okay, so now differential equations, they play a very, very fundamental role in engineering because many physical phenomena are best formulated mathematically in terms of their rate of change. So whenever we are saying that it is d alpha by dt, so that means we are studying its rate of change, right? Okay, so you can see here the differential equation that has been quoted here is dv by dt is equal to g minus c by m times v. So here, if I assume that v is the velocity, so dv by dt means the acceleration, right? So it has been given in terms of g, the acceleration due to gravity, and c by m is some constant, so c and m is the mass of the body, and v is the velocity, right? Okay, so here, v can be the dependent variable because v is depending on t and t becomes the independent variable right okay so now what are the applications of ordinary differential equations so why do we need to study this topic very very important topic so differential equations they have several applications in different fields such as applied mathematics science and engineering so apart from the technical applications, they are also used in solving many real life problems. So which type of real life problems? So let us understand them. We can derive various exponential growths and decay rate with the help of the differential equations. They are also used to describe the change in the return on investment over time. So if you check your stocks, the stock market and those who invest money, they see that how much return they are getting over a period of time. So that is also described with the help of a differential equation. Then they are also used in the field of medical science for modeling cancer growth or spread of disease in the body. And movement of electricity can also be described with the help of the differential equation. Right? So now, what are the more applications? We can also find help economists in finding the optimal investment strategies. So if you are able to frame a real world problem of investment into a differential equation, then by putting in the value of the, you know, the amount that you are investing, you can get to know that how much return you will get in the next period of time. Then the motion of waves or a pendulum can also be described using these equations. 
very soon I'll show you how it is being described with the help of a differential equation. So the various other applications in engineering are the heat conduction analysis in physics and it can be used to understand the motion of the waves. So the ordinary differential equation can be utilized as an application in the engineering field for finding the relationship between various parts of the brain. Right? Okay. So now let's see the first application. So the free falling stone. So in your junior classes in class two, you might have done this equation that d2s by dt squared is proportional to minus of g. And when you remove this proportionality symbol, you get minus g over here. So here s can be called as the distance or the height. And g is the acceleration due to gravity. Right? So now, so the next application is a spring vertical displacement. So this application also you might have discussed in physics. M d to y by dt square is proportional to y. That means whatever distance it gets displaced. And when we remove that proportionality symbol, we get the proportionality constant as minus k, which is called the springs constant. And y is the vertical displacement covered by the mass m. Then is the application of a simple pendulum. So all of you have done this that if I hang a simple pendulum, it will keep on oscillating, right? If I make the equations of motion from here, we get that ml d2 theta by dt squared, where theta is the angle made, with the vertical in the direction in which it is going maximum, right? This is equal to minus c times d theta by dg minus mg sine theta. So you can see that this is again a differential equation of d theta by in terms of p. So when you remove this ml, when you divide by ml on both sides, we get d2 theta by dt square plus gamma d theta by dt is equal to omega square sine theta equal to zero, right? So, so now we are just learning that what are these equations and now in a few couple of videos, we will get to know that how to find out the solutions of these different equations, right? Okay, and now one more. So, you might have done in physics again an RLC circuit, resistance, capacitance, and inductor, right? So we will be deriving this equation also towards the end when we finish off this topic. So we get according to the Kirchhoff's law, L d2 q by dt square, where q is the charge of the body, plus R dq by dt plus 1 by c times q is equal to the total electromotive force, that is E. So this is how the circuit is made. We have attached a resistance, we have attached a capacitance, and we have attached an inductor, right? And this is the electromotive force. So this is an RLC circuit, right? So now let us see that how many types of differential equations we have, right? So we got a fair idea that what is a differential equation. Now let us see that how many types are there. There are two types of differential equation. One is ordinary differential equation and the second one is partial differential equation, right? Now, what is the meaning of ordinary differential equation? When your differential equation is involved only with one independent variable and its differential coefficient, that means there is only one independent variable present and the derivatives, the differentials are only in terms of that one independent variable, then the differential equation formed is called a ordinary differential equation, right? So here you can see that dy by dx plus py is equal to q. So you can see that y depends on x. So x is the only independent variable, right? Now what is a partial differential equation? When a differential equation involves two or more independent variable and its differential coefficients, then it is called a partial differential equation, right? So here we will be having more than one independent variable. 
So you can see this example del square u by del x square plus del square u by del y square is equal to 0. So you can see that u is depending on x as well as y. So u has, u is the dependent variable and x and y are the independent variables, right? Right. So that's all for this video, right? In the next video, we will understand that what is the order and what is the degree of an ordinary differential equation. We will first cover up the topic of ordinary differential equation and then we will proceed to partial differential. So in the next video, I'll tell you about the order and degree of an ordinary differential equation, right? So if you like the video, just hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. And believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.